When you hear Pinterest room, many types of rooms can come to your mind. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the white theme with plants and minerals. This is the theme that suits my taste and if it suits yours, keep watching. If not, there are many videos out there for you to find out. Regardless, I hope you enjoy whatever video you're going to watch next. So let's get started! For the first DIY you're going to be needing water, base that is actually made to cover all the walls and a spoon of course you're going to want to mix these two together and create a sort of paste I added too much water which is fine because I'm not really trying to get the paste but if you want to get the paste consistency then don't add as much water as I did we're going to use this to create a really dried stone like effect I'm going to be using this plate as a tabletop for my nightstand. You may have seen it on my previous videos, it was on the floor, but today we're going to be covering it with hard paste. The key to this look is to leave a lot of bumps and get it really 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 dried with a blow dryer. This is how mine looks, mine can get really hot, but you can use anything you want or let it hair dry, which I think can take a lot of time but you do whatever you're able to. I'm going to be using these three nail polishes to create the marble effect once my tabletop is dry. Just pour them in a recipient with water. I will show you how every DIY turns out in the end, so let's move on to the next DIY. I'm going to be using this plastic lid that was from my clock to use as decoration for my nightstand. Using the same technique, we are going to cover it with our paste. Once it's covered, you're going to want to blow dry it and move on to the next DIY. For the next DIYs, you are going to be needing three food cans. Mines are from beans. I'm going to paint one of them and use the other two as planters. My grandma gave me these plants, so I decided to incorporate them in my room decor as well as in this video. I think they're really pretty. I got some dirt outside and put the plants inside of the cans. Now to complete our nightstand, we are going to put everything together. Let's put our plants inside of plastic vases or you can use concrete or whatever other material you have. Then let's get our decorative piece and put it right in front of them. I put a candle inside of my food can and wrote 100% fake because I thought it was a nice label. Now you're going to get some rocks, tree to be more precise, and a candle. I'm also going to add a branch just to give it a more put together effect. And we're done with the top part of our nightstand. Now to have more nature to my room, I'm going to be adding another plant to an empty space that I have on my desk. This one was also a gift from my grandma and I think it looks really cute in here. I got a rock from outside and I'm going to put it in front of my vase as well as this incense holder that is inspired by Urban Outfitters. My friend Aparna has a tutorial on her channel so check it out if you're interested. I'm also going to be adding another rock to the rock so that it pulls the look together. Since I had an empty space, I decided to add yet another rock to my room decoration, so here it is. When it comes to beds, you'll often see grid and patterns like urban outfitters. So I'm going to be using my grid one that I DIY'd as well as my pillow that I also DIY. You can DIY these by buying a black ink marker that has a thin point and that doesn't come out when you wash it. Kind of like those markers that would leave a stain in your clothes. Wall art seems to be very important to get a Pinterest room. If you saw my previous videos, you'll notice that I had a lot of wall art, but now I'm keeping it minimal, which is why I only have my watercolor brick wall and 
I added a B classy print. Now for the bottom part of my nightstand, if you don't have a bottom part on your nightstand, you can totally skip this or place the decorations on another part of your room. Now that all of the DIYs are done, I'm going to be showing you around so that you can see how my room turned out and maybe compare it to yours and send me pictures and we can interact like that. That is all for this video guys, I really hope you like it. I'm trying to get a better quality for my videos, I hope you noticed that. Let me know what you think, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to of course. And as for me, I'll see you on my next one, bye!